Hey everyone, and thank you for the interruption, Brent. Um, as Brent uh, told, I'm like sixth year graduate student at uh, uh, Brent Mitchell Lab. I study community ecology, phylogenetics uh, in this group, and I'm giving some special emphasis to the Centrica in South America. And, um, and you get surprised that Centrica also is dominant in Chile, in the Mediterranean climate, and also in the southern part of, of Chile. Uh, and also a part of my dissertation is uh, understanding the water relation in this moss. And that's, wh that's what I'm going to talk today. Um, just a way of introduction to this topic, uh, what we usually commonly know about water movement in plants is uh, the example that we have from, from these higher plants or uh, uh, these vascular plants, that they have this specialized structure to conduct water through the plant and release to the, to the environment. So um, basically, uh, the, the water is uh, that uh, uh, is in the soil, moves through, uh, through the uh, roots and, and, and moves along the, the stem and it's released uh, through these pores in the stomata. Of the leaves. That's kind of the common pattern that you usually have. Uh, but um, some, like these small plants or shorter plants, and like mosses, evolved uh, kind of a different set of uh, adaptation to water uptake, uh, conduction, and storage. So, what we can say about this water movement, these mosses, is that um, most of these guys rely on what an external water transport and absorption of the entire uh, surface. And this condition is known as ectohydric, which means that in contact with water, the moss, oh, sorry, the, the water moves, uh, is absorbed and moves very rapidly uh, along the leaf surface. That's uh, uh, that's why mosses uh, can uh, uh, react and, and respond to the fog or dew or a small uh, uh, water droplets. And as you, might, you imagine that there are some uh, kind of anatomical and morphological characters that may have like an important role in capturing and transporting and retaining water, right? And, and what uh, we usually uh, found in these characters uh, is that there are capillarity spaces in between them uh, over the entire uh, the plant surf, the structure, but also there are uh, uh, a special kind of uh, some particular cells that help to uh, absorb and, and distribute the water along the leaf surface. And especially in Centrica, that is such a diverse group, we can find a lot of variability in these characters. And that's why it's kind of a cool system to study this. And, um, uh, but kind of uh, the big question is to relate these uh, characters uh, with the function, but we know that that's very complex, but we will try to give the basis and the foundations of, 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 of this uh, kind of uh, phenomenon that is common and uh, widespread in, in, in Moses and in Centric. Um, so <clears throat> like a, as a way of uh, like uh, have a, like a framework to study um, ecto in mosses, we can have like uh, different morphological stages or uh, levels, you want to call it, is uh, where you can look at the plant in different levels. And one of these levels is the anatomical characters, uh, kind of the papilla development is very important. Papilla is kind of a a projection of the cell, uh, the uh, in, in the cell that look like an uh, an antler, uh, and they have a different uh, type of uh, papilla in Centrica. The higher line by basal cells. These basal cells are uh, at the base of the leaf. Uh, they are porous and, and dead. So and they have these. They remain very like uh, uh, they remain. Uh, uh, like a, like in a steady state when the, the the moss is dry, so they they remain in the same position. They kind of uh, they don't break, 
um, compared to other cells. Um, and um, and the hair point, the hair point is this uh, like uh, kind of um, a projection of the costa that also cut, could help to catch water. And the other like uh, kind of uh, morphological um, stage is looking at the stem, the, the stem architecture, um, the orientation, how uh, the, the, this individual stem like dry out and also get wet. Uh, here, I'm going to emphasize a lot that in, in mosses, it's very equally important the dry state with the wet state. Um, uh, so uh, the uh, kind of the, the whole architecture is quite uh, important as you can see in the picture as well. Um, and the clamp, like uh, usually when you see like a moss, they are not like individual, like a stem, like hanging around. They are like, uh, they, they work like a, a, as a family. They, they, there's like a single entity that also kind of is going to affect the water uh, properties of the, of the, of the individual. Um, so just to iterate the, the kind of the anatomical characters that are kind of important in this, uh, as you can see in this uh, uh, slide at the left, the, there are some kind of uh, uh, um, characters that are uh, playing play an important role. Uh, as you can see, the leaf uh, divided in the basal portion and the laminar cells, which are the green part. And uh, in these uh, squares of pictures, it's just to show you uh, how these different portion of the leaves uh, interact with in the early stage uh, with water. So, for example, the first one is like the hyaline basal cells. Uh, uh, they are kind of uh, uh, some of their they are empty and kind of hollow. But the, when the at the early stage of the interaction, the you can see that uh, some of them are filling up with water, as you can see here. Mm. Um, that's uh, the base part of the of the leaf. Uh, in the, the laminar cells in the middle, uh, you can see the like a really mass, uh, 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 massive part of the water like interacting in the in the in the leaf. Uh, in the margin as well, the the leaf margin is something that is like very cool, and can play uh, some functionality in like water uh, absorption. Uh, and the last the, the 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 last one is the papilla, and the in between cells and in between this projection, the there is capillary spaces where the usually the water moves uh, uh, easily. As you can see in this image, uh, like water is present between these capillary spaces and between papilla. Um, and um, here is a picture just to show you the striking difference of a moss that is uh, it's, uh, dry and a moss that is wet. Usually, uh, like bryologists like to uh, identify plants and they like to look at the plants uh, uh, in dry stage. Usually, it's, it's good to like see the plant in dry stage to identification. But when they are wet, they look totally different. And sometimes it's like carries some difficulty to, to identify the plant because they look totally different. Um, uh, but in the water relation, it happened the same. So it's like uh, as the moss like, is acquiring water, uh, all these kind of uh, chambers and capillary spaces fill up with water and a whole set of new characteristics arise in the moss, as you can see in the top right, oh, sorry, sorry, in the right. Um, and, 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 and new characters uh, 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 are present in the, in the same individual. For example, in this case, the leaf angle is going to uh, uh, be very important for like water storage in that area. And the leaf uh, estance, which is kind of uh, how the, the leaf is open or closed. Uh, usually, as you can see in the left, uh, picture when the moss is dehydrated the the leaf try to like curl and twist but also like the 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 two halves of the leaf also they close together so all these kind of interactions are uh, is part of my kind of my study and and and, and i think that is uh, 
in, in, in mosses and particularly in tricky, it's very important to look at both the stages as well. Um, so uh, just to uh, give like a kind of more uh, of interaction, I will show you some videos uh, using the compound microscope. Um, uh, one video is about how the clamp, like a bunch of stem, uh, absorb water from the soil from the bottom, as you uh, did in the demonstration, with using two different kind of uh, shapes or different species. Uh, another video is about how the kind of uh, the, the, this clamp like uh, absorb water from small drop drops, uh, kind of simulating like what happened when there is a fog or uh, environment, and um, how the individual respond to water uh, uh, water from the bottom, as you can uh, you did in the demonstration. Um, so let me. Back here, and now share screen. And okay, oh. so here's the water coming from the bottom. Um, and the the most uptake is water very easily, as you can see. Um, usually, what is happening is that uh, there is a ra fast refilling in the through the stem that goes to the bottom, but after the water uh, it gets distributed along the surface of the leaf. I'm going to show you like a picture, oh, sorry, a video in the in order that shows that. Um, here is uh, the moss, uh, and here is kind of the the state that the moss is uh, happy, where uh, the, the there is water content in the leaves, and the leaves are so happy. But also the the, the moss is trying to that dry out, um, and um, and getting to this dormant state that you can see in 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 this video that the moss start to close up and getting kind of sleepy. But it's a condition that mosses are very well adapted. So in this kind of uh, going from wet to dry is something that most, uh, they know how, how to deal with it. Um, as you can see here. Here's showing the last like kind of stage where that the leaves go back to this uh, twisting and keel uh, uh, shape. Okay, so that was the first one. Let me go with the with the other um, type of uh, what is going on here. So here's Cani uh, where uh, Gina showed like a nice picture of it. Uh, and here is uh, the water as well coming from the bottom. But you can see the moss react very like fast. If you look really closely, you can see the waterfront moving up the leaf. Do you see? You have to look really closely, but it starts at the bottom of the leaf and you can see a wetting front move up to the tip of the leaf. Yeah, and 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 um, and some and this process is kind of the dehydration. It's a very slow process, and and I think the mosses like to be in this uh, stage as much as they can, because they can work. Uh, uh, but uh, they 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 dry out, and you can see kind of the leaf morphology in this moss is totally different to the other one. 
Um, and this is kind of closing up the leaves without any twisting. Okay, so that's uh, the most dehydrated. And let me show you uh, how how does it happen when you spray the moss uh, uh, with uh, water. So look at how um, kind of these uh, hair points um, are catching up the water and the moss start to get like uh, uh, awake again. Um, and, uh, and it's pretty cool um, that these mosses have uh, this kind of intimate relation with the atmosphere. Uh, and it doesn't kind of, uh, I mean, it, it does matter where the, 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 the water comes from, but these different cycles of dehydration and hydration are something cool, very important. And, 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 and I think there are some uh, kind of different behavior am among the species of Centrica that we will try to point out. And the last one is gonna be about the one moss looking at the, um, uh, the single stem. And I just want to uh, kind of uh, pay attention to uh, where kind of the water goes at the, at the beginning and at the end uh, of the, of the, this. There you can definitely see the waterfront moving through the papillae. Is that right. leaf? Oh, you see that? Oh, that's so cool. That's great, Javi. So, yeah. And just kind of iterate this kind of, maybe if you want to separate the stages, one is the rapid re like refilling of water along the stem because the leaf are like, as you can see, there are like so many leaves and the, the leaf shape, oh sorry, the leaf base is, is porous and, and hollow. They can move water very easily, but as soon as the, the water like is more abundant, the water is get, getting distributed along the leaf surface. Um, yeah, so that's, that's all. And thank you for listening.